again, one of the most important things about a good stance is to make sure we can move from there. Let's talk a bit about movement. I want to make sure, again, every time I set myself in the proper stance, all my, all my points are right. Now, if I'm moving forward, it's my front foot followed by my back foot. A lot of people call it step and slide. I step with my front foot and I slide my back foot up. Same concept of moving backwards. I step first with my back foot and my front foot follows. Same to the right. I step first with my right foot, then my left. Same concept to the left. First to the left and then to the right. At all times, I'm keeping my feet the same distance apart, such that I keep my balance again, such that I can attack, defend, and move again. Now I'll bring my friend Ernie in, such we can look at movement and how it's supposed to look. First, Ernie entertains a good stance. It's in a good proper stance, again, to point out the fine points. Elbows in, chin down, up on his back, toes, ready to go. Now, if Ernie were to move to his left-hand side, he wants to make sure he steps first with the left foot. Again, we want to make sure we never, ever, ever cross our feet. That's a real danger, it throws us off balance. Also, when Ernie's done moving, he looks like he did when he first started. The same distance is there. If Ernie's moving to his right this time, same concept. He maintains this distance between his feet such that he keeps his balance, such that, again, he can defend and attack from a good posture. Let me show you another angle to make sure we're understanding where exactly Ernie's feet need to be when he moves. Ernie turns to the side. Again, we see, again, he's up on his toes, his elbows are in, his chin's down. Now Ernie's gonna move to his left, steps first with his left, follows with his right. Again, you can see the critical distance is, is maintained here. Again, Ernie moves to his right this time. Moves to his right, again, we have the same distancing here, such that Ernie's balance is where it needs to be, such that he can defend or attack or move again. Again, I'll use my friend Ernie, such we can demonstrate a drill to work on your footwork. Ernie and I both assume good stances, good postures. Again, all the fine points are intact. Foot is up, chin is down, hands are up. What Ernie's gonna do is my students, he's gonna mirror what it is that I do. If I move to my right, Ernie does the same thing. Same concept to the left, same concept. Forward, he goes back, I go back, he comes forward. To the right again, to the left, I go forward, I go back. That's the way the drill looks.